Hello, this is Zario on hangmansnews.com radio. Live from Liberty City. We're listening to Are You Out There in Dreamland? Pretty recent song by Are You Out There? going to go over some of the headlines that we're covering on Hangman's News TV today. Hangman'sNews.com is the website if you want to pull it up. <clears throat> Introduction to Bach Flowers. It's the first uh, headline of the video featuring Four minutes and 16 seconds video clip. Hangmansnews.com, a brief introduction to the benefits of and uses of uh, Bach flower remedies with Julian Barnard. So, um, that's a little video. If you want to learn about Bach flower medicine, it's a very good, uh, good way to just get a little little introduction to that it doesn't go into depth in too much but it scratches the surface and uh, yeah and you can definitely see if this is something for you if this is something what you want to learn and then the next video the headline is uh, health benefits of cayenne pepper and uh, I want to tell you a story about that because um, one of my father's good friends, he uh, he told me about this. And I, like I've been studying herb medicine for I don't know, maybe maybe soon 12, 13 years, something like that, since I got my first first experiences with with herb medicine, and uh, I I was pretty. I had some big problems with my stomach, really, and uh, it would never ever go away, man. And uh, I was suffering for this for years, man. And for me, that was kind of embarrassing, and it was really weird the way I got introduced to to herb medicine back then. I'm I'm digressing, but but still, uh, I, I, I want I want to tell that story anyway. Well, um, started out that my uncle's ex woman's brother, he had the exact same problem, and I was visiting them, and uh, this uh, this girlfriend of his. Well, she had studied her medicine now. She had her her, uh, her garden full. And because I, I recognized that he had the exact same problem with his stomach, I, uh, it was like a... I don't know the English word for that, okay? So, sorry. I, um, I asked her, well, do you know anything that works for that? She's like, yeah, I think chamomile actually helps for that. And I just, I asked her, but why is it, why is he still sick when when chamomile will cure it? And she's like, well, I can't get him to take it, you know. So he had that pride, you know. He he didn't want to take it. So, yeah, that's how it may, may go, man. And, um, all right. So, um, then I studied her medicine myself for very many years. And now this, um, this friend of my father's, he's, um, he's also had some heart problems, you know. And, well, now he's hooked on cayenne pepper. And he's telling me that this is one of the best herbs for heart problems. And yeah, 
a lot of other stuff. And so actually I took a little search on the web and I found this video here um, to go with the website for it. And yeah, it's just incredible what it says in there. I really recommend people to check that out. And cayenne pepper, it really spices and spikes your, your food up, man. It's, um, it's, a, it's a terrific spice as well as incredible good herb medicine effect. So okay, so we we're gonna gonna go to the news here uh, also a little bit. The police watch as people assemble to peaceful, non-violent protest. Well, this is the story where where uh, the police started to shoot at some California students a few days ago. This was uh, this happened the the, the 19th. January this month so I'll just read the, the text there so it's, it's a minute 41 seconds hangmasnews.com UC Regents meeting the police watch as people assemble at UCR the 19th of January 2012 the police shot California students that were protesting the regents of the University of California on Thursday 19th of January 2012 in Riverside about 400 students demanded a reversal of the privatization of their university so and, uh, and we, we were covering that with a few videos there we also have uh, police brings riot gear to peaceful non-violent protest so it's basically the same story here and there we have a russia today's movie about that they had some better footage there some of the actual shooting we only was able to get the hold of the footage that was from the surrounding and like the, the build up to the situation here so on our own videos all right uh, cops shoot protesters at UC Riverside this is uh, one minute and 56 seconds long video clip from RT America on um, on Thursday in Riverside California students were protecting in protesting sorry the regents of the University of California. Over 400 students were demanding a reveal, reversal of to the privatization of the university and toy toying hikes. Um, I don't know, man, my English is not that good. Toy <laughs> hikes. I don't know how to say that. According to some students, the deputy sheriffs had been summoned to reinforce the dozens of riot cops. Rubber bullets and pepper balls were fired at the students. So that's pretty bad. I mean, uh, first they want to privatize their, uh, their, uh, you know, their uh, university, and when they protested, they go in and shoot them <laughs> with rubber bullets. Talk about police state, man. I mean, you know, like Alice Jones is saying, <laughs> the police say it isn't coming, it's already here, yeah. It's like dog training, man. Okay, and then we have uh, indefinite detention, the NDAA and the Enemy Expatriation Act. This is the Corbett Report, 13 and 57, uh, 13 minutes and 57 seconds. Corbett Report with the singing of the National Defense Authorization Act signing, sorry, with the signing of the National Defense Authorization Act into law, more Americans than ever before are wondering how the country could have descended so quickly into a police state. Yeah, and like, yeah, the two other clips are definitely showing that same thing. Far from unique or 
isolated act, however, is just the latest entry in a long list of steps towards the codification of outright martial law. All right, and we have some more videos, but we don't. We're running out of time here, right now. Um, so, thank you for uh, listening to HangmasNews.com radio, and we will be back. The news brought to you by Hangmasnews.com.